Good evening, neighbor. I hope that you and your loved ones are keeping well. I know that this is a hard and it is a scary time for all of us, but we must have hope. I believe that together we can get through anything as long as we make the most of the time we have. It's raining outside and the world is indoors. So what I like to do is have a friend with me, get a hot drink, grab my favorite book, and get all comfortable. Today I'll be reading from, let's see, Rumpled Stillskin. You know that story? Hmm? Go ahead, find yourself a nice and comfortable spot, and I'll read for the both of us. Once, there was a miller who was not a very sensible man. One day it was his turn to appear before the king and account for his year's work. At the end of the interview, the king asked about the miller's family. The miller glowed with pride. My daughter is not just beautiful, he said. She is the cleverest girl in the kingdom. Really, said the king. Tell me, what can she do that is so clever? She, uh, she can spin straw into, into gold. <laughs> blurted out the miller. He had said the first thing that came into his head. Well, the king was very fond of money, but it seemed unlikely that the girl could do as her father said. However, bring her to the palace, said the king, and I mean right away. So the miller went and he fetched his daughter. The king could not help but notice that she was very pretty. He took her to a small room containing a spinning wheel and a huge heap of straw. Spin that into gold before dawn, said the king, locking the door, or it will be worse for you. The girl began to cry, and suddenly through her tears she saw a strange little man standing before her. I may be able to help you, he said. The visitor's sharp little eyes twinkled greedily. Your pretty glass necklace will be payment enough, he said, and at once he set to work. While the poor girl cried herself to sleep, the little man worked at the spinning wheel. Before dawn, he had vanished as suddenly as he had arrived. An hour later, the king was delighted to see a pile of golden thread where the straw had been. Tonight, he said, I will give you a larger pile of straw. That night, the little man again appeared to help the little girl. This time, he took the ring from her finger as payment. The king was a happy man. The next night, he showed the miller's daughter into an even larger room. If you complete your task again, he said, I will make you my queen. But when the strange little man appeared, the poor girl sobbed. I have nothing left to give you. The little man thought for a moment, but then he said, You can give me your firstborn child. What choice did a desperate girl have? Once again, the little man worked through the night. The next day, there was great rejoicing in the castle. The king announced his wedding to the pretty girl who had won his heart. How proud the miller was. A year later, the happy young queen rocked her first child gently in her arms. Suddenly, the strange little man appeared. I've come to remind you of your promise, he said. The queen begged him to take her jewels instead of her child, but the little man shook his head. I gave you one chance, he said, and I'll give you one more. If you can guess my name in three nights, you can keep your baby. For the next two nights, the queen tried every name she could think of, but without success. On the third night, a soldier came to her with an odd story. As I was riding through the wood, he said, I saw a strange little man dancing around the fire and singing. The queen can never win my game, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. That night, the little man appeared and the queen said, uh, is your name? Hibblehob, 
No, he yelled. Is it Grinkle Greggers? No, 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 he said again. Well, is it Rumpelstiltskin? The little man went red in the face. He stamped his foot so hard that he disappeared right through the floor. And you know, no one has seen him from that day unto this. The end. I hope that you enjoy the story as much as I have. And I trust you're going to begin loving books in this time. Once again, it's time for me to say goodbye. But I'll see you next time. So stay safe. Remember, it's much better to spread stories than viruses. Take care.